So here's the deal. I was in a bad mood before I went live and now I think my edible hit and now I'm in a good mood. <laughs> uh, not a good mood, but I'm not as bitchy. So I am big mad, Misha. Like what the hell? You guys are accusing me all the time of being a shitty friend of Pete's. And I'm like really, really good to him. He's not even mad at me right now. So he's not bothered. Maybe he wants to be alone. Like, hello? Like... <laughs> I was there for him. I brought him there. I was there with him when it happened. I paid for everything. And I was with him after. So, I mean, I don't know, like, how much more supportive I can be. He, he ha like, he's one text away. One phone call. Fizz, I'm not feeling good. Can you please come? I need help. I need something. Bye. I would be right there. I'm sick of like my, especially members, I'm just sick of people who I think are friends or who just, I don't know, just like turning on me and like thinking the worst of me. Like that's just, yeah, like everything's here, my machine, everything, like I want it, you know, like for me, this is like coming back home in a way, like, um, animal control came today, actually, funnily enough, on the day of when we had to bring Tim in. because you guys already know that people have been like calling and saying that the cats are like underweight um there's cat shit everywhere they've been like abandoned for days on end with no food so they came and they looked at everything they didn't even like they just like looked around and like saw the cats and they saw sam and like still you're not responsible for their happiness okay i'm not responsible for pizza's happiness I'm not responsible. And yes, I know that sounds insensitive. He's grieving the loss of his cat. And to me, I felt like I was being supportive. If I wasn't being supportive, it's up to him to tell me. Not for you guys to just be like, oh, you're a shitty friend because you didn't stay a, a few extra hours or you should sleep at home with him tonight. Like, he's going to be grieving for a while, guys, you know? Like... And for me, I... I... I'm grieving too. I've had this cat. I bought her. We bought her together in 2005, a year after BBJ. I'm tired. Cured his depression? No. That doesn't happen. And I can't cure his depression, guys. Okay? It's not gonna happen. And it's not gonna happen in one day. So, I'm... I'm very depressed myself. So, I'm... I'm very depressed myself. And... Um... He assured me he's gonna be okay. And... I said I'm here for you anytime, I have my phone on, I can't, I mean, I, I don't know how to say this. I don't need people coming in here every time and shaming me for stuff. So like if you're in here to shame me for being a bad friend of Pete's, when actually I'm a very good friend of Pete's. Misha? Like, what the hell? You guys are accusing me all the time of being a shitty friend of Pete's. And I'm, like, really, really good to him. Yes, I was a shitty friend w around when Timbit died. Um... I guess shitty friend for not being there as much. Or for not just being so self-absorbed I didn't see more signs that he was more... I knew he was depressed and you know I didn't know it was this this bad I haven't been the best of friend but I don't need people constantly coming in here like this is my VIBs I want it to be like a place where I can come and just like talk freely and not be judged every time for like the same things over and over
not. Sorry. I'm not responsible for somebody else's mental health. I'm not. So for you to think that, that's ridiculous. I'm here for Pete's anytime. That's not going to change. That's not going to change because I'm with Natter. That's not going to change for anything. And it's not at all. Um, so yeah, as soon as I seen his video, I rushed over and uh, yeah, he just wants a bit more privacy right now. So um, but anyways, and it's not like uh, he has to care. I'm burdening him so badly for caring for the cats. Like he, like what? He f feeding? Like, I know he's depressed. I feel bad for him. I'm, I'm severely mentally ill myself. I'm, I'm severely mentally ill myself. I'm, I'm severely mentally ill myself i'm not really equipped to to help somebody out of there you know i'm there for him and as he needs me and i think i think part of his problem is that i'm that yeah probably part of it that i'm maybe that i'm with natter or that um or whatever else you know like a lot of things like you don't even need reason to be depressed if you're depressed you know so i know that's the point snow eclipse but i can't what am i supposed to do like not turn off my feelings and not live my life the way i want because it affects someone else do you know what i mean like you're you guys are shouting at me to like leave natter go home to do things that you really want me to do. But I want to sleep there tonight. I want to be with him tonight. I love him. I want to be there tonight. And we have a very different relationship offline. Twisty Misty, welcome to Very Important Beezers. Ready, set, bees. I'm not ditching Pete's for Natter. There's room in my life for everybody. And if there's not, I'm not going to ditch a friendship of 20 years for somebody. I, I don't know why you think I'm that type of person. I've been more, I'm not neglectful, I guess. I don't know how to say it, but... No, I don't want to spend one night away from Natter. Why? Why? He's still going to be depressed when I leave. He's still going to be depressed when I leave the next morning. Why would I? What, so why? My stuff is there to sleep there. I want to sleep with Natter. We're making things work and that's it. He doesn't probably want me to say these things, but well, it is what it is. <clears throat> He's isolated in that apartment. And, and what do you want me to do, Abby? What do you want me to do? What do you want me to do? going to spend the night with my boyfriend i don't know what you don't get about that i don't know what you don't get about that my soul is gone no i have a soul kathy 
Quit being fucking dramatic. I don't know what people, I just feel like people just expect so much from me and I just, I can't deliver what you're, what you're expecting. Sorry, I mean, I don't know. <laughs> spend one night at home. Well, it's not about that. Yeah, sure, I could physically spend one night at home. It's just, why? Like, why? If it's not something I want to do. Ugh. Just get fed up. Easy. I'm not, I'm not, like I said, I'm not well myself. I'm... I'm not, I'm not, like I said, I'm not well myself. I'm... I know I sound like a heartless person, but I'm really, I don't mean it that way. Like, I just... I'm, I'm I don't know. Like, I'm, I'm really not well myself. It's just a lot. It's a lot. I'm really not well myself. It's just a lot. It's a lot. And I mean, I came on ranting and raving, but I did tell Pete I want to help him. He needs a family doctor. He needs to be on, like, disability for mental health. Number one, there's no... He needs to. He, he, I'm sorry, but that, so I need to help him with that process. I feel mean, but... Be patient with pizza, this is a big change. I know. I'm trying to be patient with everybody, but like, I'm like not well, you know? Like, I'm like not well, you know? Why? Like, this person is a really good friend and I've known them for a long time, so why? Am I not wanting to help them more? Like, you know, like things like they were like, like really serious. Like they were like not wanting to live serious. So they're like in, an, in the hospital and they're close by and I feel like I should go visit them. And I just feel like I can't, like I can't. I honestly have been trying, seriously, really, really trying not to even go to the psyche ER myself sometimes. So it's like, I honestly have been trying, seriously, really, really trying not to even go to the psyche ER myself sometimes. So it's like... Oh. And I forgave them since then, but like, I think it bothers me more than I realized. Because now I see them in this situation and it's like, a part, a part of me is like, oh, like bitter. Like a part of me is bitter at my friend. Like, for being so horrible to me when I was going through that and needed a friend. You know what I mean? So, so maybe I am <clears throat> being a bad friend, but I don't feel like I can do any different. You know what I mean? So, oh, shut up, just wannabe Zion. Goodbye. Or Reginald, I should say it to whoever I want to. This is my channel. I'm allowed to come on here and unwind and speak my mind. Why are you even a member if you don't want to hear me talk about shit? Like, what the fuck? It's just, I have very limited, like, spots for what I can give my energy to, you know what I mean? I just don't- I don't want to be responsible for somebody's happiness. Like, I- I just- I don't want to have any attachments, like, when it comes to people, like, yeah. I don't want to have any attachments, like, when it comes to people, like... Well, and I've always been, like, I don't mind helping others, like, I usually do not mind helping people, but for myself, it's depends on the situation, right? And I've just been feeling guilty about that, I guess, because, you know, I don't think she understands why I'm so distant. So maybe I'll just, I'm just going to say that, you know, like.
stand, but yeah, now she, hi J boy. Like I'm still like processing a seriously abusive relationship I've been through and like I still like I know I need therapy for sure I know and then like my grandmother just everything all mixed together I still haven't like properly processed and then on top of everything else I just you know it's just like a lot I haven't even processed like my grandmother's death even Timbit I haven't really processed that maybe that's why like being around Pete's after that happened was just so depressing and uh, I just don't think I I just couldn't do it maybe like I was just I don't know and maybe I don't want to go home because I feel guilty because like, I don't know, I feel horrible that I'm out there 24 seven anymore.